Hi fellas, beer review tonight, um, it's a Friday night and I think Friday nights were made for beer, home brewing, craft beer, anything like that. We've got one from as far away as you can get from Cheshire as possible, I'd have thought so. Octane Red Ale by Mr Tube Dino's, um, containing Amarillo, Columbus and Centennial hops. I've got it poured up and a bit of a run through what's in it. Um, my aunt Rogerson did a review, I didn't take too much on board. Not I don't value aunt's opinion, but also have my own slants even pick things out of it that he couldn't or perhaps I can't pick out things he could, I don't know, anyway. So we'll pour it up, have a look, so um, we'll carbonate in the bottle. Nice hiss there, that's settled for a, a few weeks. It's one of those just Smells nice straight away from the bottle. Let's give it a pour. Not sure what kind of aggression we should get on that. There we go. It's poured really well. Um, definite red hue to that. I'm actually prepared tonight with a broad torch. As you uh, Yankees say, flashlight. Just look there. That no, is really is red. We can't tell normal camera but if you just look through there definite red hue carbonation looks crack on um, finger ahead all in all looks good oh, that smells fantastic that does you've had, you've had commercial beers even expensive ones you don't get the aroma like that I'm just going to read right through it what it is and a little slant on what I did see early on. Okay. Um, AB says, um, it's like Octane Red Ale made by Tube Dean Old. I think it's slightly scaled down. Yeah. My own recipe, but hot positions are inspired by Panhead's Johnny Octane Beer. Never tried that. I've seen the Panhead Supercharger, which always goes down well with you guys. Malts have got ale malts, or pale ale malt, Vienna, medium crystal. Shepherd's Delight, never used that. Equivalent might be red or cara red. Um, hops, Amarillo, Centennial, Columbus. Really good combination, all American. USO5 yeast. I'm going to go as far as to say that USO5 yeast is a. And I said it before and I'll say it again, it's, it's probably a yeast you can use for anything. I've seen lagers, I've seen ciders, I've used it for stout. Obviously, hoppy ales, something like that. Okay, right. Cellar temperatures. Not overly cold. So, aroma. These hops coming through straight away. I'm not one who can detect this, that, or. Nothing American. That, it's, it's the. So the earthiness, the spiciness of the American hops. I'm also getting a little bit of a hint of fruit notes on that. I won't say like a dark fruit, more like a medium, almost like a cherry, something like that. Um, starving and cheers fellas and cheers Dino. That's good. I didn't expect anything different because no one did a great review on it. I'm good. going for um, I'd say light to medium body. Uh, carbonation is not overly carved, it's not flat, it's just way up that kind of ale to be. I've not had many red ales so I can't really compare to others who do. Um, and it's one of those as you drink, you're getting the most full hops straight away and it's what have you done there? It's worked. And what I did do, um, I looked through early on. I know it's not the same. Z Bible. Flanders red ale there. Uh, and all the hops are different, but it's got Vienna malt in there, pale ale malt, and cara um, so that is obviously that kind of blend in the actual malts, so you're getting that kind of malt profile. And then this one, all the hops, as I said, different, but it says, um, it's page 137 if you've got the 
the Bible. Mine's a bit Bible bashed by Mr. Albert. Um, we've got a long aging process is needed to develop flavours in this complex sour and fruity beer. That's where I'm getting the fruits from. It's got to be. It's not the hops because in the hops in this one he's getting golden so it's got to be them. The malt's got to be the grains. Um, this is a one more for aging this one. This is so it's wait at least a year before sampling so you're going to get more of a, a sour note on the one in the Bible but this this is because of the hops in this this is one of those you best to taste oh, flipping out it's just go in there Amarillo I'm not getting the Amarillo but I don't know um, more centennially than that I would say more sea hops on Columbus, yeah, um, definitely. The Amarillo, I've had the Amarillo in an ale, but it was a single hop and that came through great. But I, I'm not sure if they balance together or it's like overpowered by the other two, I don't know. But oh, fantastic drink! Look at that, set me down 5.3%. Um, some would say sessionable. I would say more small session, well two or three, something like that. Well, the course of an evening would just be fantastic, and it's not, it's not losing the carbonation at all. I just give it a swirl. I reckon the head is going to come straight back because you can just tell with the lace there, yeah, straight back, fantastic as as was, um, cracking beer. Thanks again, Dean, for sending that. Uh, thanks to you guys for watching. You do know me. You certainly will know Dino because he puts loads of stuff out there. Um, replies, comments and gives as much advice and feedback as any other brew tube and that's the highest praise I can say to anybody. So thanks again Dino. Uh, it's been a privilege trying these two beers. I have one more from New Zealand we're going to try in the sh very near future. So cheers fellas. Thanks again Dino. Um, cheers to Mrs Dino as well, I know she puts up with you as Mrs Cheshire Homebrew puts up with me, so cheers, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.